really don't know. Again, I really, it's like a weird thing. Like, I, I look at um, material all the time. I read stuff all the time, all the time. Um, there's a couple of new plays, actually, that wouldn't mean anything to you if I, if I talked about them that I've read that I feel like could be really interesting um, films. And uh, in a couple of cases, I'm, I'm working on talking about them with the play with the playwrights. Um, but you know, nothing classic that I can think of that comes to mind. Although, you know, I, I love the idea of like uh, like uh, Shakespeare adaptations in the film. You know, I would love to do would love to do some classical Shakespeare stuff. Or you know, I like like uh, you know like Vanya on the Forty Second Street. This movie that that um, that, uh, that is a based on Uncle Vanya, Chekhov play, you know, that kind of stuff is interesting to me. So maybe, maybe something like that will come down the pike. Who knows? Um, where? You say here. Okay. Um, okay, so Spock has a catchphrase fascinating. And you and Chris Pine in your interviews, you have amazing, like, wordplay. You guys have crazy... As opposed to cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so do you have any like catchphrase or like any kind of word that you love to use to describe things? Nightmare. Nightmare? Yeah. <laughs> I'm constantly like, that is a total nightmare. <laughs> this isn't a nightmare though, right? No, this is not a nightmare. I'm not using it to describe this experience, but like if I like get really frustrated like in the morning, I always know what kind of day it's going to be when I walk my dogs. Um, because if I'm like in the city and I'm walking my dogs and like you know, you have to clean up after them, and we're like, one day. <laughs> Can I really tell this story? But one day I was walking, I was walking my dog, Noah, and he made a poop. And I was like talking to my friend and getting the bag out to clean it up. And like, my friend is here, and the dog is here, and the poop is here. And I'm, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, anyway, I don't know. And I'm like getting the bag out, and I gotta open the bag to put it, you know, to put it in the thing. And, and then I turn around, and this woman is walking down the sidewalk, listening to her headphones and not paying attention to anything. And she's like this, and she steps right in the mess. And she's wearing sandals. Oh, it was the worst. It was a nightmare. Probably more of a nightmare for her, but also a nightmare for me. <laughs> anyway, that day was a mess. So I, I went home and I was like, that was a nightmare. <laughs> it's a terrible story. <laughs> oh, I'm, getting a, I'm getting a watch, which means we're done. Oh, I, can, I have time for two more questions. Oh, it's like, it's like a lottery situation. Okay, you seem, you, seem, you seem like you're not trying too hard, which I like. But you have to stand up so everyone can hear you. This is a very awkward question. Oh, well then, okay, sorry. Awkward for who? Oh. So, part of the fandom has associated you with your relationship with What's my feeling on what? <laughs> the fact that people do that? <laughs> yeah, this is really awkward, but I think it's a little more awkward for you than it is for me. I hate to tell you. What are you asking me? Kirk and Spock or me and Chris? Be clear what's happening. <laughs> so you're talking about fan fiction. So what are my thoughts on fan fiction? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> because when I was in Ireland, I was giving an interview and somebody asked me about it and I said something that some people misinterpreted as disrespectful. So I would like to say here for the record that I mean no disrespect to people who either write or read fan fiction. I have absolutely no interest in it. It doesn't interest me. Um, I understand how it interests other people. I respect their desire to be interested in it. Um, I think both Kirk and Spock and definitely me and Chris are only good friends. <laughs> and any suggestion otherwise has more to say about the person making that suggestion than it does about either the characters or the actors. One more question. Um, I don't know. Uh, okay, okay. You right here. Okay, I just wanted to ask, 
have you done any work related to the fashion industry lately? Uh, work related to the fashion industry. I mean, I you know I like fashion. Um, I like to I like to meet and work with different designers, which I've had the great pleasure of being able to do. Um, but work with the fashion industry. Um, <laughs> I actually am a contributor to Style.com as a like a Style Maps contributor, but I'm so far behind on my deadline that I actually have to go write the piece that was due two Fridays ago. <laughs> do. So um, yeah, it's something that I'm interested in and something that maybe I'll do a little bit more of, but uh, we'll see.